We as Americans are forever thankful to all of them for their unselfish devotion and for their courageous willingness to put their lives at risk. Again, I tried and researched and looked. I still do not understand the Vietnam War. And I don't think anybody fully understands why we went. It was to look back at what the politicians and the decisions they made. Some of them were made so they would not look bad in a political election. That's not a reason to put troops at bay but it was made. Right when we started Vietnam, we knew we wouldn't win. But yet the politicians ignored the military and they pursued to go through with Vietnam. Again, Vietnam vets are my, they hold a special place in my heart. One, I'm a corpsman and I, I just, to have that you clashed with the Civil Rights Movement, Watergate. A lot of what happened in Vietnam was pushed to the side in the news because of all the other events going on in America. But you came home. We thank you. I wish I understood it all. I will keep trying. We now take time to recognize our World War II vets. Please wave as we salute you for your service. I think the only one we have is Mr. John Owen. Is there any other World War II vet? And he's very proud of the day he walked into Germany. He told it last year. He said we went 300, we were ordered to go 300 yards forward, 300 yards to the left, 300 yards to the right, and we would be in Germany. He said, I did just that, and I entered Germany. Thank you for being there. We now ask our veterans of Korea to stand if able, or to wave as we salute you for service. Is there any other Korean veterans here? I salute you. Now for my special veterans. Any Vietnam veteran, please stand. I haven't been here. our closing prayer followed by a time of refreshment and fellowship. I would like to, and we can pass the mic around, let anyone who wants to tell a story uh, share uh, a memory uh, um, to let us know uh, something uh, about your experiences or not. Um, I'm going to get here. I'm going to get you. You're first on my list, Mr. Owen. <laughs> um, but we will now have our closing prayer at the time followed by the refreshments. I would like to thank the ladies of the auxiliary and their friends for preparing the refreshments today. I so apologize for not getting here early enough. That is my fault. But you are greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. They've done a beautiful job at preparing everything. Beautiful job. Um, can, if you can, can we please stand for the prayer? As we close our recognition ceremony, God, we ask that you go with us and give us the strength to continue our service to you. We give thanks and praise for all that we have. Be with our veterans and their families wherever they may be. Be with those who have lost loved ones and are currently going through medical procedures. We now have a moment of silence for those missing in action and for those who are prisoners of war. Heavenly 
Heavenly Father, be with those comrades who even now guard the gates of freedom and return to them to safely home. Amen. Does anyone want to share a story? I'll pass the mic around. I know, Mr. Owens does. <laughs> Did you want to say something to everyone? Did you want to say something to everyone? Uh, I just, I just like to say, I was in World War II, and I thank God I wasn't in North Korea or Vietnam. That was two terrible wars, and uh, I just want to thank God for the uh, time to speak to you, and I, I, I want to pray to God that everyone in here knows Jesus Christ Amen, as their Savior. That's, that's the only way you can get to heaven, knowing Jesus. And uh, I, I, I'm just old. I don't look like I could have went up against 200 pound German, but I had <laughs> artillery. <laughs> so, uh, thank you all and appreciate this place where we can gather together here to uh, talk about the soldiers and the sailors and the, and the women. Go ahead now, thank you. I'd like to shake your hand. Special welcome, and you deserve all the We're proud of you. I'm sorry, I can't hear. I'll, I'll write that. Let me think. Okay. How did you make it to 101? Pardon? How did you make it to 101? Tell me your secret. Oh, he's right. He's right. I, I, I'm lost my hair. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm 101. I, 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 I probably lose more than my hair than I got 101. Oh, I think I made it to 101 by eating the oatmeal. <laughs> okay. Okay. You probably just had one woman in your life, too, right? Uh -oh. One woman? I helped you. Okay. <laughs> so I am really proud to be up here with you. I really am. I loved your son for a lot of years. Yeah. He's cut from good grain. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure you never go anywhere where they don't have a sales pitch. So any of you guys that here are veterans, we need you in this monthly meeting. We're falling off like, what's his name, Mr. Owens? Some of us are getting old like uh, Floyd. <laughs> A couple of them, uh, I see a good friend of mine, little fat buddy sitting back there in the back. <laughs> He don't come to meetings, and his daughter's the post commander. Uh-oh. You told me you wanted to talk to me. You got something to talk to me about. But if you guys would, if you're not a member of the post, you're a veteran, please see somebody, get an application, and sign up and come back and support us. We need your help. I'm sorry, that's all we know is Marine Corps. We need your help. <laughs> Thank you and enjoy the snacks. I just wanted to recognize that um, some of the boys from Boys Home who are on the other side of the room, um, actually, indirectly, we sort of adopted the Boys Home, and I was there Monday. We learned the um, Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going back Loyalty Day for um, to help with uh, a presentation for the boys' home. 
This fall, Bill Atherholt and myself did a flag burning ceremony at the boys' home. I think they greatly appreciated it. I know we learned a lot and um, we're just trying to be there and to help be a mentor at the boys' home to give them another resource to reach out to in another group. And we have their winter um, pamphlet that's in the back. We have one of them. If you want to glance at it to see what the boys' home has been doing this winter, um, feel, feel free to look you know, and see what they do. But um, I know that the Post we will be working more closely with them in different activities and events. And as the Post commander, I'm trying to get the youth involved in patriotism, but also trying to get younger members and other members to come into the VFW because like he said, there's, we're fall, we're getting smaller. <laughs> um, even though we did increase our membership a little bit, um, I know that we need to start and I'm trying to work on my generation and trying to get them more involved um, in the VFW, those that went to Persian Gulf, Iraq, Afghanistan, to get those involved to help us, to help give back to the community. Um, it's been a struggle, but you just do it day by day and event by event, and we'll get there, but I will let y'all eat. I'm sorry to, to take so much time. Um, one of the um, boys home, one of the seniors has already signed up, and he will be going into the Air Force. So I think that's a, a great, I think it's a great cause. That's what I did. I signed up to get money for school, you know, didn't expect to get what I got out of it, but I got more than I ever dreamed of out of the military. So anyway, that's about it. Let me give you an example of what we're talking about, uh, but the numbers. We have about 108 people that are members of this post. When I joined it in 2009, there were over 260. We have a plaque back here that says this was the second largest VFW post in the state of Virginia. We now have 120, 108, and about 20 of us show up for meetings. We have, we, uh, uh, we have an honor guard to do military funerals in six counties. And we did one yesterday. There were three of us. We don't even have enough now to have a rifle squad. And, and those of us who were there yesterday are all over 75 years old. We can't continue to do this. We, we, in order to, to make this building continue to live and our, and our VFW traditions to continue, we need membership. Please pass the word. And if you have not received a personal invitation from me for the 4th of July ceremony in Clifton Forge, there's the paper. Please do give me your name and number. Thank you.